God has given man a free choice. Simply put, you may either be born twice or you may die twice. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the way it works. Yeah, that's true. Well, it is. Yeah. You were born once, you're going to die once or you're going to die twice. You're going to be born twice, right? You have to be born twice. Because in to order to once. see and be in the kingdom of God, as Jesus said to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, you must be born, born again. again. So you have to be born twice to die once. To have only died, to die once. Right. Because interestingly, in the process of being born again, you die. the old man passes away and dies. And there's the death. Yes. That's God's plan for redemption, right? You have to work to get the second death. It says that the wages of sin is death. You've got to work for that. But life, eternal life, is the free gift of God. Why would you work for what you can exactly. I mean, you know, yeah. To get the evil thing when you can have the good thing for free. Hallelujah. The one death in which God delights is the one which we die with Christ. Back to Romans. Romans chapter 6. I'm going to read verses 6, 7, and 8. It says, Knowing this, that our old self was crucified with him. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Yes. So, you know, this is kind of what baptism is symbolic of. It's that passage from death to life. But you died, like Paul said, my life, I've died, my life is hidden in Christ Jesus, with God. At that death that I just talked about from Romans 6, mm -hmm. we're born again. One death, two births. Yes. Or for the natural man, one birth, two deaths. Yes. After natural death comes the final day of judgment. All right? Mm -hmm. And after the judgment, the this death. is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, verses 14 and 15. Mm. It's therefore no wonder that, that Jesus, when the disciples were returning after he had sent them out, right? That this is their first venture out with going out in the power and authority of right. Jesus Christ. Jesus desired that they understand, and this is what he said, Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of enemy, of the enemy, and nothing shall injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. Luke 10. This should be cause for rejoicing. The joy of the Lord is my strength. No wonder so many Christians are weak. They're not, they're not rejoicing. They're not full of joy, yeah. right? Recorded in heaven. That's written in the Lamb's book of life. If your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, you have no fear of the second death. And by the way, judgment's over too. Yeah. It, it says, it's appointed unto man to die once and then the judgment. Mm -hmm. When you have died with that new birth, your judgment has taken place. Yes. Well, you didn't stand in front of the judge. No. no, but Jesus Christ did. Jesus Christ stood before Pontius Pilate. And Pontius Pilate says, I find no guilt in this man. Crucify him. Wow. He was found innocent and executed. Executed for what? Your sin. My sin. My sin. We were, we were judged. Christ paid the price. Yes. The wages of sin is death. The price has to be paid. Yes. The price was paid. Hallelujah. And I was just thinking about what well, last week we were talking about the fire. Fire. And that in the fire we would see Jesus. But that fire, that lake of fire, they're not going to see no, Jesus. No, no. That, that's eternal separation from that's God. It. Yes, hallelujah. We will, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, pass through the fire. Yes without being harmed, which is exactly what it says in Isaiah 43. Though you walk through the fire, the flames, the fire, you'll neither be scorched nor burned, which was the case with Shadrach, Meshach, yes. and Abednego. Yeah. Not even the smell of smoke on them. Hallelujah. You know, I, I mentioned Lazarus before, but think about it. Jesus said to Lazarus' sister, he said, mm. I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. And then he said, do you believe this? Mm. 
So that becomes the question. Do you believe Do this? Do you believe this? Yes. And you can say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Well, it's if true. There's a problem. It, this, this should be a momentous thing. I mean, I... I I just want to ask you, you know, kind of look back because, you know, it says, Paul says, let a man examine himself. Yeah. When you were born again, when you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, can you remember that moment? Can you remember that time? It should, it, I was going to say, it should be momentous. No, it, what, it shouldn't be momentous. Oh, it, should. it was the single most momentous event in your life. Absolutely. Nothing in your life since the moment mm -hmm. you came into this planet and drew breath, nothing has been more significant, more momentous than that moment in time when you said, Yes, Lord, <coughs> and received Him as your Lord and Savior. That's right. That was the time that you, you died and were resurrected like Christ. That was the moment in time that all the angels in heaven rejoiced over you. That was that moment. It's a, it should be, I mean, it should be marked on your calendar. Hallelujah. It, it, it should. Happy birthday!